All right, class six one. These are our notes on the lesson on how to write a retail. And I started off the class by asking you who were the masters. The first thing we had to do was figure out what the question is asking us to do. It's really important to understand what the question is asking so that you don't set off in the wrong direction of providing incorrect information because you didn't understand the question. As a class, we figure out the question wants us to explain who or what the Nazis were or are. Okay. The next thing we have to do is decide what kind of information should be included about the Nazis. Definitely put facts, and we talked about the beliefs of the Nazis, what they believed in. And we have to be really aware of who our audience is, because the kind of information we we'll include uh, for a grade 2 class would be very different from the information we would include for adults. And there's some things that shouldn't be included in an answer like this. Definitely stuff that's off topic, the little unimportant things, some of the horrific details that might be too upsetting for people to read. And because this is a retail, it's only telling what happened, you don't actually include your opinion, which is kind of interesting. Then we looked at answers that people had, uh, could have written to that question. Bad guys who killed people. Right away, the class saw there are problems with this lesson. There's not enough information. There's no restatement of the question. There's no punctuation. It's an incomplete sentence. The information, the answer is actually correct, but there's just not enough detail for this to be a good answer to the question. So the class gave this a level one. Here's another answer someone wrote. The Nazis were evil people who killed Jewish people during World War II. We decided to look at the positives for that answer and the negatives. This answer definitely has more facts than the previous one. There's punctuation, capital and period. There's a restatement. It's a little more specific. It tells you who the Nazis were and when they, uh, they lived. And it is a complete sentence. There is some incorrect information, though, because the Nazis didn't just kill Jewish people. Other people were affected. And more information is needed. So the class decided that this answer was a level two. Here's the third answer that we looked at. The Nazis were mainly veterans from World War I who wanted to take over the world. They sent Jewish people to death camps. Positive, much more information. It tells you who, when, and what. It includes an example. But again, there are some negatives to this answer. There's some incorrect information. Still more info is needed. The when is missing. The closing sentence is not really there. And the where is missing. It doesn't tell you where it took place. The class decided that the mark for this one would be a 3 or 3 minus. Finally, we have this one here. The Nazis were a political party led by Adolf Hitler. They ruled Germany from 1933 to 1945. They wanted to build a world empire made up of only Aryan people. Sorry, kids, that was my telephone. Uh, they ruled Germ Germany from 1933 to 1945. They wanted to build a world empire made up of only Aryan people. They believed everyone else was inferior. They passed laws to restrict the rights of Jewish people. In 1939, the Nazis began World War II. During the war, they sent 6 million Jewish people to death camps. The Nazis were defeated in 1945. Right away, the class recognized that this was a much more fully developed answer. It told you who, when, where, why. There's lots more information. It included dates, and we had to make sure that the dates were correct. Some things still weren't fully explained because it doesn't tell you uh, what Aryan people mean, and it doesn't tell you that other people were affected by the policies of the Nazis. It wasn't only Jewish people who went to the, to the death camps. Uh, some students thought that there should maybe be a stronger closing statement. Um, some felt there were still a few details missing, but overall the class decided that this ranged from a 3 plus to a 4. Just like when teachers mark things, there's some discussion and it's not always clear cut what mark an assignment should receive. And the class found that when they were discussing this, assignment, this piece of writing. So, what's next? Now we have to figure out, well, what are the success criteria for a retail or a summary? The class had to sit down with a partner 
and tell exactly what should be in a retail in order for that retail to be quality work. And that's what you're working on now. After that, you're going to write a retail of Hannah Brady's story from Hannah's suitcase. We'll do a rough copy, and you'll also practice your word processing skills by doing a good copy.